The quantity and type of aggregate is going to have a large effect on the behavior of our concrete. Uh, in general, con or aggregate will make up 70 to 80 uh, percent of our mix. So you can see this is a, a huge percentage of our, our mix, so it's going to also have a huge contribution to the uh, properties of our hardened mix. Uh, so we'll make three generalizations on the effect of um, aggregate on concrete. Uh, the first is we'll say that a stiff aggregate will lead to a stiff concrete. And we'll measure our stiffness, uh, our modulus of elasticity. Uh, we can also say that uh, if our aggregate is stronger than our concrete, so if our aggregate is stronger than concrete, or sorry, stronger than our cement, uh, then what's going to happen is our failure is going to go around the aggregate. So let's say we have uh, our aggregate in uh, some cement mortar, some hardened cement paste. What will happen is our failure crack will go around the aggregate. Uh, so we can contrast that with if our aggregate, or sorry, if our cement is stronger than our aggregate. So if cement is stronger than our aggregate then what's going to happen is if we have the same uh, aggregate and cement example, what will happen is our failure will go through the aggregate. Uh, so you can see here in, in case one, the uh, strength of the cement and the bond between the cement and the aggregate and the um, interfacial transition zone are going to have a large effect on the strength. Um, in the third um, point here, our aggregate and the strength of the aggregate is going to have a huge effect on the, uh, the strength as our failure crack goes through the aggregate itself.